Most of us slept last night. A group of Americans were giving out food, water, and clothes to Haitian migrants on the Mexican side of the border. Fox San Antonio's Yami Virgin has the exclusive video and interview with the group some call controversial. Why they say they were forced to go through Mexico after Border Patrol in Del Rio turned them away. People in Piedras Negras, just across from Eagle Pass, were a little shocked last night around midnight to see men dressed in these clothes. Black and Hispanic men in a caravan of 12 cars and a rental truck stopped on the other side of the border. What kind of book? The Bible? The Reina Valera. Right, right. In the right, the Holy Bible. King Where are you James, from, buddy? King James Version. Where are you from? Where are you coming Austin, from? Austin, Texas. You're from Austin, originally. Right. From Austin. Austin, Texas, right. So, where you live? In Austin, Texas. In Austin? So, you came all the way from Austin to what? For what? To help? I came out to assist and to help the Haitians because, according to the Bible, the Haitians are the Levites in the Bible. The same way the Mexicans are the Issachar, uh, Issachar rites in the Bible. We are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. We are really God's chosen people who Christ died for. We are one family, one blood family, saying through blood lineage. Do you want to translate that for him, please, in Spanish? Mi maestro aquí dice, es mi Arwan, que nosotros somos la misma gente. Nosotros somos la misma nación. Son 12 tribus para la nación de Israel. Y hay varios versículos en la Biblia donde dice quién somos nosotros. Saben que esta puede ser quizá la última noche que estén los migrantes aquí. Parece que va a haber una deportación. Okay. Well, that's sad. Right? Tell them that's sad news to hear. Right? Uh, at the same time, the Lord has made it possible for the priests, the angels that live on earth, that's us, the angels on earth, to come down. To show our brothers and sisters, our Haitian brothers and sisters, that we love them, that we're supposed to gather together as one nation. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, Haitians, all of us are one family. Dice, dice que esto es algo muy triste de oír, pero Dios ha hecho la posibilidad de que nosotros lleguemos aquí y darles el mensaje de la verdad, para que ellos sepan que sí hay gente que nos quiere, que sí hay gente que les quiere ayudar. Amigos, preséntanos a tus amigos. ¿Quiénes son ellos? ¿Cómo son? Ellos son oficiales. Vamos, vamos. 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 Vamos, People in Piedras Negras, just across from Eagle Pass, were a little shocked last night around midnight to see men dressed in these clothes. Black and Hispanic men in a caravan of 12 cars and a rental truck stopped on the other side of the border, continuing their trip to Ciudad Acuña. We got together in San Antonio. Um, we went to local Costco and Sam's and got the, um, the stuff that we need as far as the, ma the material, as far as the, the water, the fruit that we gave out, the pampers, the, the wipes, and all of the other things, the toiletries. We gathered that together. We bought that today. Um, we went down to uh, Del Rio when we got the uh, Border Patrol told us that we could not give the resources to them. They said that we could only give it to a church that we could donate it to. We said we did not want to give it to the church because the people are not at a church, they are under a bridge. Thousands of Haitians in need of those items are now going back and forth across the river through a deeper side to find those items for their family. The images of the situation in Del Rio moved the controversial group Israelite School of UPK to mobilize their car caravan when they were allegedly turned away in Del Rio 
and they headed to Eagle Pass. Came around to the Mexico side. Now we're in Mexico to give our brothers the resources that we have for them. After an hour plus trip, the caravan made it to this park in Ciudad Acuña, traveling through an area with a State Department travel warning level four for violence on the Mexican side due to the cartels. Being in a dangerous situation, that's being black, Hispanic, or Native American. I mean, we'll, you know, our lives are dangerous. We live in the most dangerous communities. You know, we live in the most dangerous conditions. As far as the group is concerned, the treatment by the Biden administration and the Trump administration towards asylum seekers is all the same. The Bible says that a house divided cannot stand. They said a house divided against itself cannot stand. One thing that America does not understand is the left wing and the right wing are on the same bird. And if one wing decides to stop flapping, the bird dies. And that's what's happening. Because of the hatred they have for each other, they're killing their country. And as soon as they got there and were able to give away everything they had brought, it was time to pack up to go across the Mexican side of the border once again to go home to the U.S. Jamie Virgen, Fox News. We love our people, and there is nothing wrong with loving your people. Um, America was built on the on the on the love of their people, and there is nothing wrong with us coming together and loving each other. We are called supremacists because we love each other. So what are we doing that's 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 racist? Feeding our brothers, giving them water. We're not criminals. We're not thieves. We're not murderers. We don't sell drugs. We don't do anything that's that's wrong. That's against the law. But we're called supremacists. It's kind of funny from a people that kids shoot schools up every day and they never call terrorists. It's kind of funny for the people that you know do all the killing. They're never called terrorists. So you know. We know about propaganda because like I said earlier, being black, Hispanic, and Native American, that's the dangerous, you know, name to attach to yourself. And we're, we're, we're up for the tax. You know what I mean? Um, as far as how um, people try to demonize us, as you see, we're very mannerable and respectful and we, we are very professional and we're very serious about what we do. Um, you know, we understand that there is an agenda out and they don't want us to be masculine, serious men. And that's what we are. So we're, de we're, we're being demonized for being men. We're being demonized for loving our brothers and our sisters. We're being demonized for doing what's right. And our king was demonized for doing what's right. Everybody say they love Christ and they love Jesus, but Christ was killed because people didn't like the righteousness he was pushing. And that's the same thing with us. They hate us because of the righteousness we push. To be honest, when we pulled up um, in this park, um, it was kind of mixed emotions because it was a beautiful thing to us because we teach 
that we should come together and unify. And what we saw was Hispanics unifying with the Haitians. And that was a beautiful thing to see how they were working in solidarity together. But to know on the flip side, on the back end of it, that it's not, you know, it's not as good as it looked. To us, it's progress to see how we're coming together and starting to have compassion for each other. And we know that it was nothing but the Lord that made it to where we could come and show our solidarity to where now it's black Hispanics and all of us coming together to show our solidarity with each other. But to talk about the scene out here, it's, it's a horrible scene for anybody in. It's a horrible condition for anybody to live in. And um, to, to be perpetuated as being one of the richest countries on the face of the earth, it's no excuse for them to be in this condition at all. It's no excuse. If we, as poor black men, could come out here and give our brothers and sisters the resources that they need in such a short time, America can do way more. And they showed that with what they did with Afghanistan. Because if I'm not mistaken, man, Afghanistan people, don't, they will be receiving checks monthly. And, and I have an article in my phone right now where they said, this is not the norm. We are not prepared, but it's in a state, it is a state of emergency and we must get it done. Well, being that this is the land of the free, that should go for all people. That's what the Declaration of Independence said. All men are created equal. All men should get that type of love and compassion to receive benefits like that. But we see that that doesn't work when you're black, Hispanic, and Native American. So, absolutely absolutely and we just saw it the lord showed it to us two weeks ago he showed us how how they spinning how they left their own military they left united states citizens in afghanistan with uh, with, uh, with terrorists terrorizing them and they brought those afghanistan people over here and gave them benefits if the haitians were not black they would get benefits this just shows you that there's a perpetual hatred for black hispanic and native americans and that's fine it's fine it doesn't matter how they feel about us now it's time for us to come together and love each other right that's right. it right right let me tell you what the Bible says. The Bible says that a house divided cannot stand. They say a house divided against itself cannot stand. One thing that America does not understand is the left wing and the right wing are on the same bird. And if one wing decides to stop flapping, the bird dies. And that's what's happening. Because of the hatred they have for each other, they're killing their country. That's what's happening right before their eyes. And it is nothing that they can do to stop it because of how much they hate each other. Everybody's pointing a finger at each other. And that's fine because this place needs to go through what it's going through because of how it treats my people. The way this place have always treated Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know, this is, you know, you, you get what you give. What goes around comes around. Okay. 
Um, we, we're going to be here tonight. It, it, really, we're about to get ready to leave after I do this interview. We're going to we're going to pack up. We're going to get out of here. But we're in Texas, so we're everywhere. Anytime you need us, you can just call ISUPK. You can contact ISUPK.com, and we're coming. Because we don't say we love you and we don't do anything about it. Actions speak louder than words and we show action with with what we say. Right. So, you know, we're 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 going back home tonight, but we're just a phone call away. Thank you. I'm sorry, it broke up. I'm, I'm sorry. No sweat. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go. Let's go. She's on the Let's go. You good? This this Captain Yadza. She she was doing an interview earlier, but she got a different news. Thank you for coming. This man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank no, es no es los videos que te estoy dando a ti. Okay, sí, sí, ahorita lo saco. Ah, okay, yo creo que van a dormir. Ok, bueno, déjame grabar los videos para cuando se estén viendo grabarlo para tener, porque nadie tiene. Déjame tomar llamada. The government no phone. I don't know if you can grab an iPhone. Well, I mean, to tell you the truth, the government was never designed to help us. It was never designed to help us. And that's, we're, we're really glad that they're showing it to us now. Because for so long, we've been looking for them to assist us and give us help. But all along, that help and assistance was never designed for us. Even, even being from America in the Declaration of Independence, it says um, all men are created equal. That was written in 1776. But in 1776, our people were in, in the fields picking cotton. They weren't calling our people men. They weren't calling us people. They were calling us boys. So when the Constitution was written, it was never even written with us in mind. So in order for them to include us and say that we are created equal with them, they would have to rewrite the Constitution. They would have to rewrite the Declaration of Independence. You know what I mean? So now it's just time for us to realize that we just need to come together. We, our people spend 3.8 trillion dollars a year. It's not that we don't have the resources. We just give the resources to everyone else. We're about to get ready to leave. Ahorita ya no tenemos llamada. los camiones ahí en, 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 en 
inmigración, donde los van a reportar. Sí, ya, ponche en inmigración. Bueno, pues muchas gracias. Déjame grabar. Dale, gracias. Pues yo creo que nosotros también podemos hacer poco porque pues ninguna de las, de las ni siquiera la administración de aquí está apoyando absolutamente nada. Any other government, can you see it or feel it? What we can do is what we did for each other. Is we, we gave each other something that money can't buy, and that's brotherhood. Dice que ellos lo que están haciendo ahorita es algo que el dinero no puede comprar. Esa es como la como la hermandad que, que puede tener con ellos. And, 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 and also we gave each other the truth. The Lord, the Lord gave us, the Lord gave us the truth, and we're giving it out tonight. And you are, you are seeing the Lord for the first time in your life tonight. Dice que el Dios les dio, les está dando la verdad a ellos. Y por primera vez están viendo la verdad de Dios. Al haber venido ellos a ayudar. This is the, the true spirit of Christ. This is the true spirit of Christ. Bueno, pues muchas gracias, como quiera, por haber venido y por haberse solidarizado. Y bueno, pues nosotros vamos a estar ahí con ellos hasta el último el momento en que nosotros ya no podamos hacer absolutamente nada. She said, hey, Pepeli, thank you for you. All the people come over to help me. I'm here to the people. Ya les escuché en la mediodía, les invitamos como que dicen compañeros que ya los traían en los camiones y se los bajamos, pero solo no podemos, yo todavía no entro a la administración. Sí, y alguien más ayudó a sacar de los patrulleros, algunos de los patrulleros se sacaron de los patrulleros. Pero es poco lo que se puede hacer. Gracias. No problem, nice to meet you as well. No problem, man. No problem. You have to get together. Get together? Let's get the concert. All right, let's get All right, Archie. Hold on. I want you to stay strong in the spirit of the Lord. Hey, listen, if you like this tape, hit the like button and share it, man. Hit the share button. Everybody share it to their own personal Facebook accounts. Share this video, man, to wake up brothers and sisters all over this earth. Hit the like button. Check me out Monday night. I'm live every Monday night. I bring the heavy hitters in. We do it up live right on this same channel. I'll see you then, Israel. Y'all take care. Shalom.